wondering Wes drives like he hikes he doesn't stop for anything I just finally got him to pull over after needing to pee for like two hours yeah we were trying to get the most sunlight and it was Sarah's fault that we left so late because she needed to go get fucking dumplings from some particular restaurant before we left <laughs> and we we're only two hours eat. late than <laughs> what we wanted to be so we needed sunlight so now that the sun's gone all right, we're up. We're paying to get into Uluru. It's very As fish. Are Fifty thousand other people. Yes, <laughs> the line big is queue. Huge. We're trying to get it here in time for sunrise, but um, there's more people queuing, including us. Yep. All right, we are in the park successfully. Spend some money. Oh my god, there it is! Oh, there it is! There's the big boy, the big rock. As you can see, there's a fuck ton of people here. Watch the 
sunrise. Absolutely beautiful, but it is like bone chillingly freezing at the moment. So we're going back to bed. <laughs> Bye, Lou, for now. <laughs> Never did I imagine that seeing Uluru for the first time would it also be like the coldest I have ever felt in my life. But the desert is a place of extremes. Um, so I can barely talk. That's how cold I am. So uh, I'm going back to bed because it's still early as hell. Okay, so that whole uh, just have a little lie down thing to get warm uh, didn't exactly go to plan. It's now 10.30. Uh, I slept for like three hours. So, and Wes didn't wake me up naturally. He just fucked around. Um, so, now I need to make breakfast and quickly get on the road and see the rest of this bloody rock. Coffee, we've spilled the coffee. <laughs> We're now drinking the leftover coffee. We've washed up. We've, we've slept a lot. Yep. Uh, have we seen much? No, we haven't. <laughs> but we're back on the road. We're gonna go see Katatucha. <laughs> people tromping up the top. We are not going to be climbing all the way um, because it's not ours to climb. Uh, you know, the Aboriginal people don't want us climbing it. And frankly, I'm on the rainbow serpent on my back because I've been reading a lot of signs about that guy and he looks like a scary motherfucker. Um, so yeah, we're just going to walk around the base. You know, you guys know that I love nothing more than conquering a mountain. It's okay to sit this one out. In case you're ever wondering, can you segue around Uluru? Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> the home of the rainbow serpent. That's where she was made. Combining two spirits. Python, poisonous sweet man. One hard bitch. So we were wrong before. <laughs> this is the rainbow serpent herself. Curled up watching over us saying I know you guys didn't climb that rock 
You're OG here. All right, we're currently racing back because as you can see, the sun's on the way down. We need to watch the sunset. We got a cake to go. Park in sight. All right, there's our van. There's our sun. Let's go. Absolutely beautiful. What a fun day. But unfortunately, ain't no showers for us today. It's just impossible. So, gotta go for the old wet wipe shower. And that's it. We're done. We've seen it. We've been around it. We've tickled it. Yep. <laughs> We've touched it. We didn't it. climb it. We did not. Because we care. And once again, we're driving at night. But, Doing the same drive we did this morning, but... At least there's a convoy of people now, and less chance of us getting an animal if there's heaps of us. Yeah, and hopefully this is our last night driving, maybe, of the trip. Ever, hopefully. <laughs> You got a bung body, so let's face it. <laughs> How it feels about seeing a loo. There's always creepy shit to be found in the Aboriginal dreaming stories. Like over there, there's some like dead old men in here. We'll just we'll send you guys off with a nice little rendition of Home by Wesley Emmerich on the didgeridoo. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. I think it just made in some way.